So, uh, uh, Zamatullah, can you come forward? Zamatul. Are you, are you around? Shall we start? Yeah, yeah, you can start that. The presenter is on behalf of his name is uh, yeah, Zamatul, who is going to present on yeah. behalf of that. Okay, assalamu alaikum. Please, please share your uh, screen uh, if you are around. If if Zamatul is not around, uh, 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 he is he's, uh, he's doing that. Okay, okay. Zamatul is doing. Uh, yes, yes. Make the full screen. Yes, nice. Yes. Osman, now floor to you. Yes, assalamu alaikum. Uh, and good time for uh, everyone, wherever you are. I'm glad to be with you today. <clears throat> First uh, paper today will be the uh, effects of density and resin content on particle board from oil balm front and will be presented by Zimatullah Akmar Abdullah uh, from Department of Food Industry, University Technology, Mara. So please, uh, the floor is yours. Uh, Zamatul, unmute yourself. Unmute. It's, it's just a moment. Uh, Hello. Unmute. Uh, Hello. Yes, yes, now it's okay. Oh, right. Okay, All right, thank yeah. you. Make full screen, make full screen. Uh, All yeah. right. Okay, assalamualaikum and a very good evening um, to Prof. Osman and also um, uh, the rest in the, in the Zoom. So today I would like to present on behalf of the Nurul Ahna Ahmad. So the title of the, the study is the effect of density raising content on a particular board uh, from um, Okay, instead of density and resin content on the particle board from the oil palm front. So these are the team members. We have the Nurohana uh, Ahmad, I know Munira Abdul Jalil, uh, me myself, Zaymatu Akma Abdullah, Siti uh, Nurbaini, and also we have Ahmad Naki Razali. We are from the Faculty of Applied Sciences, University of Technology, Mara Paha, Malaysia. So the outline of the presentation, we're going to have the introduction. Materials and methods, results and discussion, conclusion, and also the recommendation. So for the introduction, Malaysian food-based industry seek for other alternative materials for board production because of the shortage of the natural resources in the wood-based industry. Mm -hmm. So many researchers try to focus on the agriculture residue as the a new alternative raw material because it is environmentally product. So the biomass from the agriculture residue such as the oil palm trunk, the empty branches, uh, the oil palm plant, uh, the coconut coil and also the rice husk. So another material that has the potential has an industrial product is the OPF. So which also can become the environmentally product. Pruning and replanting generated about 80 million tons of the plants a year that will cost and also lead to the environment problem. So many researchers try to focus on the oil palm biomass uh, uh, such as the OPF, OPP, the FB, the coconut oil and also the rice husk as a new raw material. Another material that has the potential as an industrial product is the OPF. So at present, the OPF will left in the field and burn to dispose. So the next slide is the uh, 
the Malaysian total oil palm replanting area. Okay, the OPF is one of the abundant agriculture waste that partially utilized and had a potential as a new raw material for particle board. Malaysia as the uh, Malaysia as the second largest in the world uh, behind the Indonesia as the palm oil exporter covers about 152,000 hectare hectare plantations area by um, 2021. So it can be produced um, 10 tons OPF per hectare annually. The large quantity of our OPF mainly left on the plantation site for a nutrient re recycling. However, generate uncontrollable quantity as it fell twice in a month and approximately two to three uh, uh, fronts fell for, uh, for a fruit bunch uh, or pruning. So the significance of a study is to, the first one is to contribute uh, to another raw material. So we are trying to search uh, for an alternative um, raw material. Secondly, is to provide information on the mechanical and also the physical properties of the oil palm front. And thirdly, as the fundamental studies on the density and also resin content of a particle board from the oil palm front. So the objective is to investigate and also investigate the properties of the OPF particle board with urea formaldehyde as a binders, focusing on the effect of the resin content, which is we are using the 8, 10, also the 12 percent, and also the density 500, 600, and 700 kilograms per meter cubic. Uh, secondly, the objective is to determine the effects of a mechanical and dimensional stability of the particle board of OPF particle board. So these are the particle board manufacturing. Uh, uh, so we are starting with the uh, the fresh OPF uh, was uh, go to the chipping process using the chipper machine to produce the chip. The chip uh, then go to the flaker machine, and then we a dry to reduce the MC, and then uh, go to the screening uh, vibrator. To get the uh, different size of a particle. After that, the particle was further dry again until a final MC, the moisture content of about 5%, at a temperature 80 degrees Celsius. So the weight particles were placed in a particle board mixer and then spray with the F resin. So in this case, we are using the urea for my uh, resin. So after blending, the spray particles will form into a wooden mold. The, the mat will then pre-press to consolidate the thickness for about uh, 30 seconds. The consolidate mat, uh, mat was then hot press at a temperature of 155 uh, degrees Celsius for six minutes. After hot pressing, the finished board was then cooled at the conditioning room for a week before we uh, cut it down or testing. Then the test, uh, the test specimen and evaluation of the board was carried out uh, according to uh, standard uh, JIS A A five A five nine zero eight two thousand three. So these are the experimental design. We have a uh, three different uh, density five hundred, six hundred, and also seven hundred kilogram meter cubic, and also uh, different percent of a resin content. Okay, go to the result and discussion. So this graph is the effects of a density on the mechanical properties of the oil palm front particle board. So uh, from the graph, you can see that the density was affect all the board properties significantly for all the mechanical properties and for the MOR, MOE and also the uh, internal bonding. So it shows that as the density increase, the value of the mechanical properties and dimensional stability also increase. So uh, this is a good sign of, um, um, of what we are doing. So the density of the board is influenced by the value of a particle use. The density of the board 
uh, is one of the main factors affecting the properties of the particle, uh, particle boards and other wood composite, and also an increase in density that will lead to uh, improve uh, the, the board properties as well. So the next uh, goal is the effect of density on the dimensional stability of the uh, old farm front particle board. So as we can see from the graph, the higher amount of a particle, which means a higher density uh, in the board that would increase, uh, sorry, uh, higher amount in the density, it will decrease the heat in the training and also the water absorption. So it shows that higher board density, the compaction are better with presence of the more particles. Okay, the next one is the effect of a resin content on the mechanical uh, properties of all palm front particle board. So the MOR, MOE, and also the ID were affected by increase of a resin content uh, from 8 to 10 percent. There is a significantly difference uh, from the resin content 8 and also 10 percent. Uh, but board with 12 percent resin content gave higher value due to more resin content and also higher bonding area. Okay, the last slide is on the effects of a resin content on the dimensional stability of the oil pump front particle board. So the thickness swelling and also the water absorption are uh, improved when the resin content. Uh, increase. Okay, so the resin content is believed to have a strong influence on the dimensional stability. So, as so for conclusion, in manufacture of a particle board from the oil pump front, variables of board density were found to affect the physical and mechanical properties significantly. Resin content were found to affect the physical and mechanical properties significantly between resin content 8% with resin content 10 and 12%. So the oil pump front has the potential to be used in the manufacture of the uh, particle board. So as for the recommendation for our project, um, there is a possibility to ensure uh, the board to be industrial fit by using a hybrid technique. So the board can be mixed with, uh, if possible, with other materials or even other biomasses to ensure the board has the better physical properties, uh, but it needs a further research. Okay, I think that's uh, for now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well done. Uh, any questions from the audience? Yeah, Dr. Uh, Ashraf. Assalamualaikum. Salam. Dr. Thank you so much for the nice and the great presentation you have done. I have a question that's uh, raised my curiosity. If you know, maybe it's a research. But you have said that uh, you have cultivated like 130 hectares, 30,000 hectares of dead palm in, blood in the couple of years, like from 2015 to 2021. I'd like to know that uh, the, um, the efficient use of dead palm oil, uh, the, 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 the biggest ever population of dead palm in the region, you know that uh, from a uh, feasibility study, like you know that we are from Middle East. And Middle East, we are uh, the biggest ever population of dead palm. And we have like 100 million dead palm in the region. And the increase rate of dead palm, like 2 to 3% every year. Uh, for you, uh, efficiently, you are increasing the whole population of oil palm. And what are the feasibility and the uh, the, the the financial uh, 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 you know income out of this increase, and is it really efficient? And how many how many oil palm tree per hectare 
You have mentioned like 130,000 in the last uh, 10 years. The, if you know the information, how many oil farms per hectare in order to know the efficient use of it. Thank you so much. Well, um, thank you for the uh, question. So basically, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, so uh, how many uh, per, uh, plants per hectare? Because uh, I just get the data from the Malaysia Farm Oil Board. We are increasing uh, the planting of the oil farm is because of uh, Malaysians um, using or fully utilize the oil farm from uh, from the uh, I mean from the starting from the uh, the the fruit itself and uh, further now we are trying to fully utilize all parts of the uh, OPT. Uh, because uh, this plant uh, is a very familiar and also is very easy plant uh, we gonna have uh, in Malaysia. So I think I I I'm, I don't have the data on uh, what um, uh, Doctor Ashraf uh, 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 question me just now, but uh, I think uh, you can uh, directly uh, maybe uh, to Malaysian plant board because uh, they are they are the body of the. Uh, Malaysian farm, uh, farm board board Malaysia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any other question? We can take one extra questions. One extra question if we, okay, then we, I think we uh, just thank uh, uh, Dr. Zematullah and uh, thank you very much for the presentation.